the Mini Cake TV releasing a 16 gigabyte recall box image. I've been liking a lot of recall box images I've been seeing lately. This has got a, a unique theme. There's some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it, which you'll see momentarily. But it is packing over 30 systems, and it's only using a total of 12 gigabytes out of the 16. So it's quite an image packing a lot. As far as Nintendo 64, PSP, PlayStation, there's just a one or two titles per category. But still, it's a very eclectic selection of games. It is overclocked at 1.3 to get started. Um, but recall box, simple to use. I recommend it for newbies in the thing, but also experienced people as well. Uh, it does come with music to get started. And the one down thing is it is in French to get started, but it's very easy to switch it over to English, as you'll see momentarily. So let's have a look at this one. All right, so here we have it. This is called, let's go ahead and look at the exact name, the Mini Cake TV. This is the 16 gigabyte. It's actually only taking up 12 gigabytes, but as you can see, it's totally full. You definitely want to change the language from French to English. So when you boot up, just press start on your controller. Go to the second menu item, system settings. Go down to language, click A again, and then go down from France. Go up to, to English, and it will ask you to reboot. Reboot. And you'll be in English. The other thing I did is sound settings. I turned off my front end music over here. As you can see, it's off. And that's about it. And that's got you rocking and rolling. As far as things being in French, there is no scum BM on here. So as far as like subtitles within the games, things like that, you shouldn't have to worry. There are going to be some of the metadata in French, as you see here, like in Atari Lynx in the lower left hand corner. The metadata might be in French, but the actual game titles are going to be in English and uh, the box art will be in English as well. So it's not really a big deal. Some people might like it, might not. Something to see off the bat is here's the theme. What, what it is is you get these little background images and when you click in, it, the background image just gets, it's the same. It's just with the game titles inside. Uh, I don't really like this because as you can see, some of these, like here it looks good with a black background. Okay, great, no problem. But now you're putting orange font on an orange background. It does not look that great in my opinion. Now, here's an awful one, right? You can barely read some of these things. So that's something that kind of bugged me about this image. But uh, seeing a 16 gigabyte image with, I don't like, let's count this really quick. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? that doesn't really count, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 35. I think we're about 30. So it has like 30 systems on here. Um, it doesn't have full sets. You know, for example, Nintendo 64, we only have about 10 titles. Donkey Kong, Rampage. I just played Mortal Kombat not too long ago. You'll see that gameplay. This is overclocked, by the way, as well. If you go over to UI settings, I'm sorry, if you go into advanced settings in overclock, you can see it's come stock like this. You can easily clock it back, but the overclock's nice for these Nintendo 64 titles here. So 10 Nintendo 64, Neo Geo 8, uh, not that many. They got only one, me two Metal Slugs and some other games here. It's a little disappointing there, but it is 16 gigabyte. Nintendo 715, so you do have all the Nintendo titles here. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 19, PC Engine a lot, 220. So a lot of these, not a fan of the theme here, but a ton of titles for you guys looking for those uh, those titles. Now there is some duplicates here as you see. So actually I think of actual titles, it might actually be closer to like 150, maybe a little less, but still a ton of games here. No video snaps, so it does have box art. Doom, you got the Doom game installed. PSP, you have Darius Burst. We'll check that out a little later. PlayStation, you got Dragon Ball Z. Max 32X, you got 24, so you're missing about six games or so. Sega SG-1000, 64, so not the whole collection, but a good amount. Super Nintendo, 772. Pretty much all the games. As you can see, the metadata is sometimes in English, sometimes in French, but mostly French. Uh, all the SNES games, Super Graphics 5. 
Vetrix, 44. Virtual Boy, 22. They have this one game. Insamouse no Yakata. Maybe worth checking out. Wonderswan, 105. Wonderswan Color, 89. Sinclair, 63. Favorites, Atari 2600. 475, Atari 7858, Commodore 64, 142, Coleco, 139, Dreamcast is 2, Mr. Driller, and Capcom vs. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, Final Burn Alpha, 1200 titles, so quite a bit here. You got your WWFs, your X Men's, lots of games there. Let's go back up. You have all your Street Fighters, you got a lot of titles here. Nice to see. Street Fighter, Puzzles, Marvel vs. Capcom. Wow, 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 wow. You can see some of the favorites there. Uh, Family Computer Disk System, 254, 257. Game Gear, 248. Game Boy, 476. Game Boy Advanced, 864. Game Boy Color, 487. Game & Watch, 53. Atari Lynx. 75, main, 630 here. So again, a lot of titles. You got your Simpsons and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all the classics. Nice to see, nice to see on a little 16 gigabyte. Some of their favorites are Space Harrier, Space Invaders, Superman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Second Master System, 64, Second Mega Drive, 335. So again, a smaller collection, but still, Gonna have most of your favorites and classics on here. MSX2, 79. Nintendo 64, 10. And Neo Geo, only 8. NES, 715. Neo Geo Pocket, 9. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 19. Back to PC Engine, PSP. Let's give this PSP a run. It's looking pretty good. Got some shields now. Whoa, almost lost my shields there. Get the halo heads. Got the turrets to take care of. We're, we're with the fishes. Look at the little fishes. A huge battlefish, iron fossil, is approaching fast. Oh boy. It's easy peasy. Get off my couch. That was a piece of cake. We're off in zone B. All right, let's do it. Hyperdrive. A 
I hope nobody's motion sickness. This game has a very basic pattern to it. I don't know if I'm a fan of it or not. So the game runs just fine. some uh there we go Ooh. oh got him oh how's he not dead Sure, should have had that. I think you could pick up these heads in this game too. How do you pick up the head? Oh, that's pivot. Ooh. That was pretty close. It's a little glitchy, but it's running really good. There we go. Ooh. Take that. Pick it up, pick it up. How do you pick it up? Got him. All right. That was running pretty well. <laughs> really good stuff. So there you have it, the Mini Cake TV releasing a 16 gigabyte uh, PlayStation's gonna run just fine. These Dreamcast games are gonna run just fine. Um, it's interesting. I'm really liking Recall Box lately. It's really easy to use, and I, like I said in previous videos, I really like because it it's easy for newbies as well. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have video snaps. I don't like that you have to change the language. I don't like the theme necessarily, but the collection of games and things like that make up for what I don't like aesthetically. Um, I think for 16 gigabyte, this is pretty nice, especially the diversity in systems. I think I counted over 30 consoles on here. Um, and it's just, it's none of the fluff, you know, so it's down and dirty, straight to what you want to see. So overall, I'm going to give this one like a B, B plus. Um, you know, as far as 16 gigabytes go, it might even rate a little higher because there's not a lot of great up to date 16 gigabyte images that's stuffed with so much stuff to the brim like this. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.